So I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to remove the bulb here. It is going to be the wise socket. Now the wise socket solves a huge problem in smart technology. You're going to see it is 1698. And what's cool about this is it not only provides you smart control of a potentially a dumb bulb socket, takes any regular bulb and makes it essentially a smart bulb, it also gives you a power drop for your Wise V3 camera. So it does all of this, and you can see that at $16.98. So you will have to have a Wise Cam V3 to use the socket. There's the lamp socket themselves. This is an add-on, so that when they sell them individually, they're add-ons. And then, you know, I've got two of these here, if I wanted to use them. And then this one is another variation that you can buy. This is your camera that is needed to control the sockets and the socket itself. We're gonna go ahead and install this. Like I said, I've turned the voltage off. I can use my voltage detector here. Notice how it's quiet now, not beeping. And this is exactly what you're gonna get in the box. You're gonna get a V3 camera and the socket. Now, super duper simple installation. There's your socket. There is your V3 camera. A couple other things come with it. There is the standard stick, the 3M stick adhesive. There's going to be some clips. Now, the cool thing about these clips is they're for mounting the wiring. So if you've got a situation like mine where I want to run the wires, maybe put the camera up top, you can do that. And then you're going to have your standard V3 camera with the mag magnetic base, right? So you can put an adhesive on here. You could put a screw right through the middle of that. And then you plug your V3 camera on. Now you have an outdoor controllable porch light, maybe, and a V3 camera. I'm going to show you exactly where I want to use this outdoor here in a little bit, right after we get it set up. So I'm going to set that up right now. So I'm just opening this up. Now, the cool thing about the V3s from Wise is that they are all indoor outdoor. So you don't have to choose between an outdoor unit and indoor. And that is how they accomplish that. It's a gasketed plug. The other end of the gasketed plug is here. It's still micro USB. And when you make this connection, like so, that's water resistant, I would say. I wouldn't, wouldn't dunk it underwater. It's not waterproof in that sense but it's very water resistant. So now you've got a solution here and you can pull this all the way out. Now I'm gonna show you, I've got it wired up today to actually show you the app live. So you can see my WISE installation and all my parts, but this is where you're gonna plug in this also waterproof connector and you can pull this completely out if you want when you put this in there, if you want it to be super clean installation like so. On the accessory ones, you don't take that off, that piece off. On the accessory ones, you leave that in there for waterproofing, unless you're gonna put a camera or another device in there. So that's what essentially what it's gonna look like installed. I'm gonna pull this out for a second. And then I'm gonna go back out to the wide here and so you can see me install this super duper easy. You just, if you've ever screwed in a light bulb, you're one step ahead. You just simply put it in the bottom. Now I have this bulb loosely attached because I intend to install a floodlight in here later, not today, but in a future show. Now I've tightened it and that put the plug on this side. Now it's not going to matter what side the plug ends up on ultimately, um, just that you have it in there. And this is where I like to run over to the WISE app to do the rest of this. Now when you go to add a device on this one, it's going to be a little bit unique. It's not going to be the same. So you're going to go in here and you're going to go to cameras. So if you go down to cameras, you're going to see that there's a wise lamp socket option on there. And then it's going to ask you if you want to set up the wise lamp socket with a V3 camera or add an additional one to an existing system. Now in the front of my house, I actually have multiple different uh, lights and I've gone from floodlights to just decorator lights and different things. This is actually exactly where I want to use mine because I have a, an opened bottom there and I want to be able to put my V3 camera out there. But here's the problem. That's my current real link camera setup. Yeah, I apologize for the paint. <laughs> we did some changes after we painted the house, but I have to run a network cable outside and have to plug that all in. And it's a great picture, but it's a whole lot of work. And I had to drill holes through the side of my house, which nobody wants to do. <laughs> and so. With this unit, I'm gonna be able to do this directly. Now, 
It's testing my Wi-Fi signal strength. It says I got a good connection. This is where I say follow every single step in the Wise uh, app, and you're going to be good to go in most cases. So we're going to hit next. It says to shut off the power, which I did because I physically disconnected this test stand. In your situation, if you don't, you're hopefully not putting it into a test stand. But in your situation, definitely go to the breaker and turn that off. And guess what? To verify that it's off, use that non-contact voltage detector that I just showed you guys earlier. Again, these kind of all go together. So we're going to say next, we unscrew the old bulb that we had. And then we're going to screw in a light bulb um, from that screw in the lamp socket. Now it's asking us to plug the USB port in. So I'm going to do that. And not the Wise V3 cam cable. Make sure you use a cable that's coming with the lamp socket. So they want you to use the gasketed connector plug. Let me show you guys this again. They want you to use this one because this one is actually much more waterproof than just a regular plug from a regular V3 that's meant to be to have that in a safe location. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And I'm going to go ahead and install your lamp socket, which we did actually. So that's installed. Plug in your camera. So this is the camera that we're going to use. Oh, there it goes. That'll be perfect, huh? There's a little tiny screw head. And I'm going to have, go ahead and plug it in as it asked. Okay, I only have one socket. I'm going to tell it for now. And then it's going to say to turn on the power. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so pull the base away from your Wise Cam V3. Got it. So I've just made that so I can get to the bottom. And then press the setup button. This is like the regular... So I have to turn the light switch on. This would be my simulated indoor light switch if this was your outdoor light. Now when I hit that... Ready to connect. Perfect. So standard V3 there. I heard the ready to connect. So there we go. Setup completed. It is ready to go. And this is going to be the socket camera. There we go. And it's offering me Cam Plus. I'm actually like a Cam Plus Ultimate Plus Plus member. I have up to 100 cameras in my Cam Plus. And it's asking me if I want to share a device, maybe later. So we'll say finished. Okay, hey, look, it's already got me on there and lamp socket installed. I have to customize it. So let's go ahead and customize the lamp socket here. And you can see it's already got that gorgeous uh, Wise Cam video. Uh, I love their, their cameras. They really are just the market leader here. Um, let's see if we want to do the firmware. I'm going to skip the firmware. If we have problems, we'll come back to it. And so it's showing here that this camera is linked. The uh, lamp socket control is auto on or off. I'll say auto. You can do a lot of really cool things with this. Um, one of them that I'm seeing here, obviously, is when motion is detected to turn on the light. So if you want to have your porch light off, use the camera to turn on the socket. You can do that. When sound is detected, so maybe they didn't see the motion. Maybe somebody's playing with your trash cans, a bear or somebody around the corner, but you want to turn the light on to scare them away. You can do that or my favorite which is definitely something new with this is the sunrise to sunset capability so that's really cool all sorts of capabilities with this wise socket and the v3 uh, camera combination they've done a fantastic job on this there's also timer to say how long to keep it on i'm going to say let's keep it on for five minutes uh, and then you can also put a schedule of a rule or something in here what's cool about this is you can have it trigger rules so if it sees motion it can turn on your interior lights. How good is that? That's for the, the home alone robber situation, right? Uh, you know, somebody gets motion outside, your lights turn on inside, they run away. That's the goal. So, so that's a traditional Wise Cam V3. The difference is now I can power this outside my house. So I can see that out on my front porch where I just have a single light. I don't have an outdoor outlet anywhere near that. I don't have to have a bunch of long USB extension cables or things like that to get my camera installed and it'll work. You have to have an open bottom um, light fixture, but it'll work just like that. So the clips come in to hide this. It's not a full length six feet or, or more, but you can put this you know, on the roof, upside down, wherever you want it. I'm going to put it right there. So pretty cool product. And I'm just going to show you that it is an actual light switch still. Uh, one of the things they highly recommend when you do this, and I think there was a sticker in here somewhere, was to not turn off this light switch on and off because this is now smart socket control. So instead of having to manually turn it on with a regular light switch, it's going to be controlled by the camera 
and you can network up to three of them. So if you have a couple extra lights that you want to have turn on and off, you don't want to hire an electrician to go and rewire the outside of your house, you can actually use this to control that. So I'm there on the app and what I'm hitting is the little tiny light that's above the picture. I'm turning that light on and off. So that's the button in the app. It would turn that light on based on motion as well. So uh, this is the Wise socket with the Wise Cam V3. And again, I want to thank the Wise company for providing this demo unit for review.